hey guys what's going on so in this video we will be setting up git so uh remember this is the second module that we'll be covering the first module has been covered in the previous video where we discuss about the core basic concept of git and why we need git and things like that now in this video we'll be setting up git in this module we'll be covering two things first is that we'll be quickly installing git on windows although the process is similar to mac os and linux but since i'm using a windows system i'll be showing you the installation for git on windows after that we'll be configuring git we'll be configuring the global username and global email of git and i will also tell you the reason uh, why we need to configure the git in this configuration section now let's quickly install git now to install git head on to the official site of uh, git which is www.gitsem.com and click on the download i am in the official website of git and from here you need to download for windows since i'm using windows it has already identified my machine and it gave me a prompt to download so if you are a mac os or linux user uh, you could have got option download for mac os or download for linux Okay, so after clicking uh, download, your installer will be downloaded and once it's downloaded, you need to run the installer and after running the installer, you need to choose use git from windows command prompt. So the reason why I am not showing you uh, this is because I already installed it, but either way, I'll be assisting you throughout this installation process by showing you the screenshots so that you don't get deviated in any other direction. So you have to choose use git from windows command prompt. So whenever this kind of thing pops up you need to check the second option which says use git from windows command prompt the reason why we need to allow this or enable this is we would be able to use git through command prompt as well although we'll be using git majorly from the git bash cool so after doing this uh, we need to choose another option uh, which says check out as is commit unix style line endings now the option should look something like this so the second option which is check out as is commit unix style line index at this point you can choose any of the three options but i personally prefer the second option because it suited me best and i think it will suit you best as well click on click through next and just blast through the installation process and you are done that's how you install git cool now let's configure git there are two things to configure uh, first is username and the email so in remember uh, at the beginning i told you why we need to configure git username and email it, it it would not matter much when you are working alone on a project but when you're collaborating there's going to be a lot of commits lot of changes and when a person want to look at the changes they will get to know which person has done it and this is determined by the git username and git email now before configuring git bash so we need to verify whether git is installed or not so remember we enabled the second option which says hey we can also use git through command prompt so if you are successfully able to run git through command prompt this would mean that git is successfully installed so go to start and open your command prompt and simply type git dash dash version and upon hitting enter if you get a git version then this means that git has been successfully installed cool now let's configure git username and email for that let's fire up the git bash in order to fire git bash go to start and type git bash and hit enter upon doing that this terminal opens up which is pretty similar to the terminal of the linux and mac os so if you are working on mac os and uh, linux no need to open git bash because you can directly execute uh, git commands on your terminal now in order to configure the git username what you need to do is type git config dash dash global and user dot name and inside double quotes or single quotes type your name let me type my name hit enter so this would this have configured your username similarly you can configure your email in order to do that you can either write git config dash dash global user dot email and you can directly pass or you can just simply press above arrow button which would just copy the above command and just rename the name to user dot email and inside it just i'll just change it to my email cool so this has successfully changed uh configured my git to store email and username now let's check whether the entered email and username are correct or not so to do that let's uh list all the config files so in order to list all the configurations we can do git config dash dash list so as you can see here there are lots of things in mine so no need to worry we are really con concerned about this username and username dot email user dot name and user dot email so if you're not able to see let me try to zoom it whether it's possible whether it's possible to zoom okay cool oh i should have done it earlier right anyways uh so as you can see we are really concerned about user dot name and user dot email since these things are registered inside the git config list then this means that the email and username has been successfully configured uh 
no need to worry about these things these things might not be the same as in yours because i have personalized my git uh for my usage and it might differ from you but the fact that user.name and user.email is the same as that we entered above suggests that it has been configured correctly okay cool so we have successfully configured our git and we are also also installed git now in the next video we will start off right from the basics of git and which means that we will be starting our third module which is git basic and advanced concepts all right guys see you in the next lecture